Hi, this is Lisa Romanovich McManus, and I'd like to take you on a journey into the art of contemplation. Into a restful place. So take a few breaths and make yourself comfortable. As you breathe, just close your eyes and adjust how you're sitting and allow your awareness to travel. Travel with your breath. Travel deep inside through your nostrils, through your throat, dropping past your lungs, into your stomach, and down into the depths of your root chakra. Find an anchor point inside of you a point where your awareness feels comfortable to rest. This is the still point within you. It is the core of your being. Sit in this still point and rest now. While there, Think of a place where perhaps there's a little bit of tension, confusion, or perhaps chaos within you. Think of that issue. Think of that fear, feeling of numbness, anger, or whatever it feels like to you. This little uncomfortable feeling is now in the midst of a transformation. So just allow it to be there. It is here that the chaos and the chatter and the difficulty will find transformation. Often, all the transformation needs is a little bit more space, a little bit more gentleness. So be gentle with yourself. Give yourself those gifts. Open up this small space inside you and take a big, deep breath. And let your breath clean you out. Oh. There is no pressure to understand it. You don't have to feel in a certain way. You don't have to feel any different from how you feel right now. There is no pressure. Take the time now to feel yourself go under the ground, moving down into a beautiful, tunnel and you come upon a huge vast cavern 
you might not be able to see anything around you, but you can feel a sense of space and the sense of silence. Just rest here. Swim in the beautiful silence of this inner space and thank it for its generosity. This is the space of openness and gentleness within. So you can just be and let the issue of concern float. Float as if it's hanging in this space around you. Now look within yourself. Turn your inner eye inside and pivot. It is at this pivotal moment that you increase the possibility of a breakthrough. When you see a pattern that's been running inside of you for perhaps your whole life and it no longer serves you. It may have been unconsciously undermining you in some way or creating stress or friction inside your body. And as you breathe, you suddenly see this pattern in a different perspective for you are seeing it in a different light. Suddenly you see it for the first time fully and you have never seen it quite like this before. This shift, this pivot leads and leaves you different. You can experience this beautiful breakthrough. And from this moment forward, it will be harder for you to go back to that old pattern. So instead of trying to distract yourself from the discomfort, you have created a pause, a space inside of you for yourself so you can look at your inner state with honesty and deeper self-reflection. As you breathe, you realize that your fear, anger, or numbness is not actually unique. It is universal to all human beings. Everyone can identify. Sit here and hold it in this place of compassion as you are resting in this beautiful cavern. Now go a bit further into yourself, into your heart, until you find the tiniest flame that has always been there. It is a small flame in the midst of the numbness. Cradle this beautiful, precious flame like a tiny spark in the fire pit on a very cold, chilly winter's night. Rest in it, nest in it, fully 
be blessed in it. And you can gently fan your flame now with a billowy feather of patience until it grows inside of you. Feel the warmth and the hope dawn within you. Take a deep breath. Well done. You have made self-compassion and love your center of awareness. This pivot has allowed you to draw strength. Now you can always do it again whenever you need to. You, my precious friend, have learned to bring your heart back to life. This is the emotional breakthrough in the silence. In the quiet of this cavern where your heart opens. You soften. You remember more of yourself and you become more vital again. This shadow pattern has been carried way too long. Some patterns have been with many of you since childhood. They have stolen your energy like vampires that claim you. They simply rob you of all your joy. Now the joy of life and vitality of this flame in your heart that you are gently fanning is your act of will. Say to this pattern a beautiful no. No, thank you. You have actually made the decision to stop. You have gone deep and have been courageous to look at this discomfort. You realize that you can now close your eyes to whatever it is and actually go inside and feel. It is a wonderful, blissful feeling of fascination and curiosity. In this safe space, you have allowed it. And here, within this flame, you see the rose within. You realize that inside those shadow patterns are gifts like treasures. In this blooming rose, you feel the warm glowing treasure of pure love. This is your heart of peace. It lies buried like a glittering gem inside of you. It awaits the day when you will gather the courage to peel off all the layers of fear and softly allow and embrace the petals of your heart's rose to bloom. Experience and breathe in your precious flower of love. It is here that you will begin to feel you are merging. Merging is like the beautiful background 
and the most treasured reward of your art of contemplation. It is opening you up to life in such a meaningful, profound way. At this moment, you tingle and you begin to know and trust all things. You trust that you are part of being itself, being as that which remains the same through change. So take a breath. And as you breathe, trust that you are all things and you are a part of all things. We participate in being today within the circle of us as human beings. And as you bask in the flame of your heart, move yet deeper into your blooming rose, as well as moving outward toward the world, towards others. It is your state of flowering. You might think of pausing as the seed, the pivotal moment as bursting from the earth and emerging, and merging as the fruit of the bloom. And the flute drops from the bough like an apple only when it's ready. It can't be rushed, so be gentle with yourself. Take the time to take the time. You may begin to feel shifts in your physical body right now. The epiphany emerging is an unflinching attitude you can develop towards everything and everyone around you. No matter what is happening, my precious friend, through the good, the bad, and the ugly, no matter what destiny brings you, you begin to move towards it, merging and blending with it. It is here you are developing your already vast open space into a large container, a beautiful vessel. So imagine now a beautiful glowing vessel of love before you. Empty, silent, and spacious. And take a breath. There are no entangled dramas or traumas within this vast container of unconditional love. The shadow pattern has been allowed, accepted, and is now embraced without any unhealthy storyline attached to it. Loving you and caring for you is the primary step. And serving others in love 
is the next. Always remember that if you try to merge with another person without this empty shared space, you may get entangled. The story in your head may get knotted up in the story of the other person. And there is simply just not enough space. There is no empty container to hold both of you. So keep this vessel beautifully empty, silent, and spacious in the spirit of unconditional love. Now envision yourself placing three treasures, three gifts to yourself within this glorious, large container of love. The first is generosity. Place generosity gently within. You will be generous and have the wisdom to know how to embrace all your concerns in a spirit of generosity openly to soften and in fact release taking anything personally. With this gift, you will settle into your inner sovereignty. Now we will add the second treasure, gentleness. With gentleness, you enter into an intimacy with life and others. Intimacy is in to me you see. With gentleness, you will release all judgments and any of the shame and blame that comes with being critical to either yourself or others. And the final treasure to add to your expansive vessel is friendship. With friendship, you will love you will send love towards yourself and others as it becomes unconditional. You can use this gift to see the beauty, to see the beingness within everyone, everything, every place. even within the most trying, difficult of situations. You can use this to see the light in everything. And holding all these treasures as you blend them in with the tranquility of your being, a tiny cellular explosion may occur in your physical body. This is a cellular transmutation and a coming to grips with all your shadows within all the layers of the onion that have been peeled back.
don't worry if you're not sensing anything. There is nothing right or correct to sense. Your challenge in life has been accepted, embraced, and allowed. Now is your chance to allow, accept, and embrace this. You may feel a tear or two drip from your eyes through an intense rush of truth. Or you may sense a sort of bubbling up of joy and let out a gentle laugh. <laughs> you may even have a sensation of a small shiver throughout your body. Even if you sense nothing in particular, this epiphany is something that ripples through your body. It sheds a difficult memory pattern that is metabolized and integrated into the new you. You will notice that these little epiphanies will occur all the time. You may even remember back to a time when you sensed this ripple. You threw your head back, opened your heart space wide, and laughed out loud. Many, many epiphanies build and grow the new blooming you as you practice this art of contemplation. It literally burns those difficult memory patterns and metabolizes any residual trauma of the situation. This is your tranquility journey. Although this contemplation will conclude, there is no end to your journey. It is a constant tranquility journey of awakening. Discovering layers and then hitting plateaus and gradually sublating to even higher schemes of consciousness and unfold yet more layers as you become more real. For when our stories change, our bodies change. And when our bodies change, our stories change. Before you begin your walk into yourself and embody the changes of these shifts you have done so beautifully, remember this one thing. Practice gentleness within yourself when you pause. Be gentle with yourself. Be easy with yourself. Totally let yourself off the hook. You are always parenting yourself. And sometimes when you are faced with violence, hatred or injustice and the things of the world and people may seem to just be unbearable. Always remember that there's a wounded child within that mess that is just trying to adapt the only way she knows how. So the mess always has a message. The message out of the mess 
is that you now have the skills to set a natural boundary towards them. This is your superpower of contemplation. You can pause and approach others in the spirit of gentleness because you know that is what a child needs. The young person in all of us doesn't need to know the answer. The person just needs to feel safe. Perhaps this person has never really been loved or has forgotten what it is like to be loved. And you can stand in your dignity and treat things with compassion. That is the miracle. That is the miracle in all these tiny pauses. It is the greatest fruit you can bear. So always come back to pausing, learn how to pause, remember how to pause. Pause inwardly in your life, outwardly in your life, and just allow the spaciousness of pausing to be fueled by the breakthroughs of pivots and the qualities of merging. Generosity, gentleness, and friendship. Let's take a deep breath here. and let out a deep sigh. <sighs> Thank this precious container. Thank the generosity of your still warm heart. Now head back into the cavern. See the beginning of the tunnel and walk back up the tunnel. As you move upward and back into the now present moment, begin to take three breaths. And at this time, begin to wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, and open your eyes, calm, relaxed, and rejuvenated. Orient yourself back to your space safely in the now present moment, balanced and in a state of tranquility. Namaste.